a few miles from Highway 11 East, it's Bethesda Presbyterian Church. We're right on the northeast edge of Hamlin County. Bill Henderson knows this church well and is passionate about its preservation. It was constructed in 1835 and has seen over 175 years of history unfold on its grounds. What to me is most unique about it, where the church is actually situated, the great cemetery here, hundred and some Confederates buried in it, and a lot of good Union boys too. Revolutionary War soldiers, Spanish-American soldiers, and it, it's just been a great place. It's never been electrified. Throughout the Civil War, the church saw use as a hospital. Sergeant Brooks died while in this hospital. For both Union and Confederate troops. I think what she was seeing here would have been young women as nurses that had volunteered their services. And I know probability they would be some ghastly scenes. Doctors maybe amputating legs or, or arms or hands or fingers. These churches at that time that were taken as hospitals normally flew one star above them to indicate that it was a hospital of uh, mixed armies. The church's location made it an ideal place for one of the South's most famous generals. Longstreet had just uh, been in the Battle of Bean Station and he had several wagon loads of wounded soldiers when he crossed the Holston River and came into this area. Now this sits on the old Kentucky Road coming from Bean Station. So they used it and set up a hospital here. The history of this church in the years after the Civil War speaks to the social divide left behind in the wake of the Civil War. The southern people sat on this side, the Union people over there, and the middle section was empty. About 1867, your diehard Confederates actually left here and went to Marstown. Your diehard Unionists who couldn't stand to be with the Confederates, they went to Russellville and built a Union Presbyterian Church. These days, Henderson likes to walk the grounds and share the church's rich history with the next generation. Yeah, I've got probably a hundred friends buried here. Then I look at some of the rosters of soldiers that's buried here and saw the sacrifices. It gives you an appreciation of being a good American.